Hey Raven users, Jamie Z here, and I want to walk you through the new mixing layout for Raven in Pro Tools 2018. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is open up the Raven in Pro Tools, and now under Settings, Switch Default Layout, you'll select the Mixing Layout. Now this layout has four layouts that have all been specifically designed for the mixing workflow in Pro Tools. On our first layout, we'll open a couple of our floating toolbars. We'll open up our floating palettes, our floating toolbars, and you'll see we have some to change your playback engine. If you have to do some quick tracking, or if you're running out of CPU, you can quickly switch between 128 and 1024. You can also use some of these color coding batch commands to maybe make your drums red, or make your vocals brown. And this is very helpful for mixing so you could easily find the tracks in your session. Now, over on the right, you'll see we have this create fader groups batch commands. This will instantly take the track showing and set them to a memory location, which you could recall with these pink batch commands. So first thing you want to do is get all the important tracks in your session and hit create all track fader group. You make sure track visibility is enabled. And now we have our home base with all of our tracks. Then we'll go find all of our drum tracks. And if I hit command, I can keep selecting some other tracks. Now with all the desired drum tracks selected, we'll hit create drum fader group. It's going to show those tracks. It's going to open up the memory location set it to track visibility and with the pink we could go back to all and our drums I'll go back to all and I'll set up one more for our vocals so I'll hold shift highlight my vocals hold command I'll grab some of these auxes and now I'll hit this other blue one create vocal fader group it's going to show these make the memory location now we can switch between all drums and the vocals. This also works in the mixer window. You can go all, drums, and vocals. This is great to have to keep you from banking around and instantly pull up what you want to work on in the session. So for really big sessions, this is a must. You'll see we have these grouped batch commands underneath, which now can use the group option to show the faders. So if you Save this as acapella. Now if I select a track in this acapella group, I can show all the tracks in that group sort of like a VCA spill. So with one track selected that has a group on it, I'll hit show tracks in group. And then I could go back to all my tracks. So what this is doing is it's utilizing this group drop menu and it's using show only tracks in group. So we can select a couple other tracks. And maybe these are our drums. Select one track in that group, and now we can show tracks in group. Now this may be more helpful if you're trying to mix a track that's already been set up and already has a bunch of groups, and you haven't set up your actual memory location track visibility groups. These groups work well too. Now a great new feature with this new Raven is that it's not using mouse clicks for a lot of these actions, so you don't have to hide your windows for the mouse to show these groups. So even with the window showing, I can hit show group one, and you'll see we're opening up this Pro Tools menu without the mouse moving. This is using the Mac OS accessibility feature with Pro Tools, and works really well in conjunction with the Raven and you'll know you're using accessibility because your Pro Tools window is going to turn white like this, where usually it would be gray. That's layout one. Let's hop over to layout two. This layout's going to be very useful for doing small editing while you're mixing. You may have to do a little clip gain. Maybe you want to turn up a, a fill with the clip gain. You could utilize the clip line with your universal tool and you can drag on the line 
drag above to select and on the line to move it, hide the line. Occasionally when you're mixing you have to adjust the timing. So I can use my nudge here, but maybe I want to bring down the nudge value, do a couple of smaller increments, or I want to bring it way up and nudge even more. Also, you have these quick audio suite batch commands here, which are helpful if you want to accentuate the transition. So maybe before we get to the chorus, I want to do a verify tape slowdown. And then before the next verse, I want to reverse some stuff. This is great to have on your mixing layout because you'll always end up doing a little bit of production arrangement to help the mix move better. This is also very useful if you have to do any clean edits, if there's a, an explicit track that you're working on. Now let's hop over to Layout 3, which is a great feature using the Pro Tools 2018 track presets. I'll deselect some tracks. I'll select one of these tracks, and I will save this as a track preset. So let's add a couple plugins on here. We'll fill it up with some good stuff. We'll add some sends. We'll even set it out an output bus. And we could even change the track color. Now we'll save that as preset chain four. Now I can make a couple new tracks. I'll select these tracks. And I could add preset chain four is going to open up the track preset menu and it's going to do the color, the busing, all of the inserts and the sends. This is a very useful feature if you uh, always have your drum templates always going to the drum bus and your vocals always going to a vocal bus. You can save all that info so when you get a new session to mix you're able to quickly route all the stuff in that session. We'll also want maybe just a blank track, so we'll save a blank track with no inserts on it as preset chain one. Now we select some tracks. We can set these back to default just by hitting add preset chain one. Now they're blue, the volume, there's no inserts, and they're routed out the main bus. Now occasionally, you may not want to change the entire track. You may just want to keep, say, the inserts so I'll add a few inserts on here. And maybe we'll want to keep a few sends. Now we hit new track preset, but instead of just saving it like this, we select track data to recall. And from here, you'll basically want to deselect everything except the send output assignments, the plugin assignments, and probably the plugin settings if you want to keep the preset that you're using for those. We'll shut off everything else as this isn't very useful just for doing plugin chains. Now so I don't have to change this every time, I'll just save this setting. As plugins and sends. So now whatever I write, it's only going to save the inserts and the sends. We'll write this to 06 preset chain. Then if you select the track, you can add preset chain 6. Now the reason I'm using 0102 is so that these stay in numerical order. Now if you wanted to have 20 different presets, when you go to number 20, it's going to show up right next to number 2. So now if you want to create one of your own presets, you can select the track, get the color, just hit new track preset, and we will save this as number 11. So I'll do 0, 11, preset chain. I will make sure it only loads my plugins and sends. We'll save that. Now I'll open up one of these here. And instead of 05, we'll do 011, we'll remove 05, we'll change the name to 11. Now I can add preset 11. 
select a couple more tracks at preset 11. Now for these batch commands to work, you'll want to have your tracks list showing because it's using this recall track preset menu to get to. Uh, the great thing about this is it'll work in both windows. So we can uh, turn off my groups here. And I'll add preset 1 to these tracks, which was my blank. And we can now add uh, preset 2 to those. So this is a great feature with this mixing layout is that you can now add plugins in both windows, where previously it was only in the mixer window. Now finally, on layout 4, we've added some advanced automation bash commands for the HD Ultimate users. And the great thing about these is now they don't rely on mouse clicks. They're using the Pro Tools accessibility feature. So you won't see the mouse move if you just want to preview automation here. So if I put this into touch, let me get rid of the groups. I can preview automation. You see I touch it, it turns green. And when I'm ready to punch, I just hit punch preview. Now we're writing at that set level. Now that we're using accessibility to get to these items, you can easily write automation to plugins. Throw a filter on here, do a control option command click, enable automation for that button. Now we can preview automation. We'll get the filter to the place we want it. And now when we're ready to punch it in, punch preview. And we're writing that filter data. Finally, on layout 4, we have some new fader focusing bash commands, which work the same as previously, except now they open the menu without selecting a mouse click. So you don't have to hide your windows to fader focus. So even with the plugin open, I could show select tracks, and it's going to still click that tracks list and show me those tracks. Then restore, even if I have a couple plugins open, and even if they're hiding that area of the window, I could still show selected tracks and show all tracks. So there you go. That's the new mixing layout for Pro Tools 2018 on Raven. So there you go. That's the new mixing layout for Pro Tools 2018 and the Raven. Happy mixing.